Tonight in Medical Rounds, some pretty important information that we do want to share with you about advances in the fight against colon cancer. Joining us live right now is Dr. Michael Karasek, a gastroenterologist at Hartford Hospital and the only doctor in the state actually performing some pretty complex procedures to remove deep tumors in the gastrointestinal tract. Hi, doctor. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Well, let me ask you first up, uh, tell us about, you know, these less invasive procedures. What is that? How does this all kind of shape up? So endoscopic submucosal dissection is endoscopic surgery. In contrast to regular surgery, however, there's no incision made in the abdominal wall, and so there's no pain. There's no portion of the organ removed, and so there's no change in bowel function. And patients usually, if they spend the night, spend one night, some go home the same day. Okay, so I heard no incision. Uh, how do you go about performing this surgery or this procedure? A scope within the bowel has channels that we can pass catheters through. One of the ones we use, for example, has a hollow needle so that we can inject fluid under a tumor, elevating it off the muscle, and then we can put electricity through this needle so it'll cut like a knife, and we can micro-dissect this lesion off of the underlying muscle, leaving the muscle alone and leaving the organ intact. Certainly incredi incredible when you explain it that way. H how common is it to find tumors in the gastrointestinal tract? Well, when doing colon cancer screening, we used to say that approximately 30% of colonoscopies would have a precancerous polyp or an early cancer or, or an advanced cancer. Uh, we now know that it's more than that, significantly more, and we're seeing a trend towards colon cancer in much younger ages and people in their 30s and 40s. That's certainly alarming, and obviously I'm sure you would stress the importance of uh, colon cancer screening and colonoscopies and such. What is the recovery like for patients after this procedure? Well, that's one of the most exciting uh, parts of it because patients wake up feeling exactly as if all they had was a colonoscopy. Wow. All right. That we can do the same. Go on. Sorry. I'm sorry. We can do the same things. But I'm sorry. We can do the same things, by the way, in the esophagus and in the stomach. Well, the advances, like I said, are just incredible what you all are doing there at Hartford Hospital. And I certainly appreciate you joining us tonight and sharing this incredible information with everybody. Uh,